Hello children, again I am here with G Science, Chapter 2, Human Body. So, this is Part 2. So, let's take a quick recap of Part 1. So, in Part 1, I have taught about human body. What is human body? So, human body is made up of cells. When all the cells combine together, they make tissue. And when all tissue combine together, they make organ. You know what are the organs? Like heart, skin, brain. And when they work together, like heart pumps blood, brain give instructions to the organ. Skin protect our body. So when they work together, making up systems. And here, when all the organs combine together, they make organ system. And you know, we have discussed, we have eight organ system. How many organ system? Eight organ system. See here, respiratory system, digestive system, skeletal system, muscular system, nervous system, circulatory system, excretory system the reproductive system so the number one is respiratory systems so in respiratory systems the main system are nose windpipe and lungs so see here we have two limb two lungs pair of lungs so when we breathe air it enters through our nose so when we breathe air it enters to our nose and it goes to the lungs through windpipes. So inhaled air is oxygen and exhaled air is carbon dioxide. Okay. So now our next point is deep breathing. Do you know what is deep breathing? So when you do deep breathing, your lungs expand and allow Better distribution of air in all section of the lungs. It means it expand and distribute air in all parts of lung. See here, deep breathing. Close your eyes. So, <clears throat> inhale the air filled with oxygen. Then hold your breath for about 10 to 15 seconds. Now slowly exhale all the air from your from the lungs. Do it again. Inhale the air. Hold for about 10 to 15 seconds. Then exhale all the air. So all of you see here. Breathe in. Breathe out. See the balloon. With the balloon you can able to understand. Breathe in and breathe out. So deep breathing is one of the best way to calm and relax your body and mind. So inside your chest cavity a diaphragm help you breathing when it contrast when it contrasts, air fills into your lungs and when the diaphragm relaxes, it expands and forces the air out. This helps you breathing. So now our next point is pollutions. Do you know what is pollution? So let's talk about pollution. See here, stinky stuff. Trash, smoke, noise, yes, all these things and much more. So pollution is anything that makes the earth unhealthy and dirty. Air, water and soil are all affected by pollution. So air pollution happens. So now we will talk about air pollution. So air pollution happen when air gets dirty. We cannot breathe properly into the air. 
smoke from car wildfires industries of chemicals and volcano eruptions so make air dirty the smoke from this burning fossil fuel is also in major cause of air pollution so when we burn fossil fuel like decomposed plant and organism they discharge co2 means carbon dioxide so they discharge carbon dioxide and other greenhouse into the air these gas in turn trap heat coming from the sun in the earth atmosphere resulting in a rise in global temperatures and is a major factor behind global warming so air pollution is one of the major cause of cough asthma burning eyes and also some major disease like cancer heart attack kidney disease so these affect our respiratory so now our next point is effect of air pollution so see here harmful pollutants like nitrogen oxide dioxides you know what are nitrogen dioxide so that i talked earlier smoke from car industries of chemicals so these are see here picture so these all form nitrogen dioxides so they can cause respiratory disease you know what are that respiratory disease like cancer heart attack kidney disease so these all affects respiratory and that cause of respiratory disease so now let's talk about acid rain you know how acid rain form so acid rain is the product of human activity like burning of fossil fuel smoke from factories from vehicles so these smoke release from factories and when this chemicals mix into rain to form acid rain so acid rain affect aquatic life means water animals life and natural vegetations so now next it can lead to depletions of ozone layers so now see here see here ozone do you know what is the meaning of ozone so ozone is a poisonous gas okay and is formed top layer of atmospheres we have oxygen in our atmosphere and uv rays entering the lower of atmosphere so when uv rays enter into the atmosphere it affect human animal and plant that is the cause of ozone layer depletions so now next is solution and preventions so many government environmental groups our government and ordinary people working to control pollution so now here is your chance to take care of our world so are you ready for the initiative so what are the steps you will do for controlling air pollution so what you do so first using public transport instead of individual vehicles so this is one of the easiest way to control air pollution so now next garbage shouldn't be burnt in open but properly disposed of so avoid buying stuff which becomes waste never use open fire disposal of waste especially plastic and chemicals so now next is planting more tree so trees are very important to prevent pollutions they clean the air provide oxygen and beautify your surrounding so little by little step by step 
we will start to see the difference and the world will be healthy, happy place to be once again. It is said that if we hear the earth, we hear earth sound. So for today, I will teach up to here. So in next class, I will teach digestive systems. Till that, thank you.